Hi, my name is Ralson. I will be the first one to discuss a report about the topic, the journal article, as a venue for disseminating scientific information. Let's start off by defining the term journal article or scientific journal article. According to the American Psychological Association, scientific journal articles are those articles that may include original research, reanalysis of research, reviews of literature in a specific area, proposals of new but untested theories or opinion pieces. Scientific journals are mainly used by authors, scientists, or researchers as tools for disseminating research findings. In science communication, journal articles are classified as primary literature or source of scientific information. It is one of the first ripple producers of information as it is primarily intended for use of scientists, researchers, and other members of the scientific or scholarly community. Most journals or journal articles go through the peer review process. Hence, a journal article is sometimes referred to as a scientific article, a peer-reviewed article, or a scholarly research article. It is a primary literature, but it can also contain review articles. What are review articles then? This type of an article mostly describes or synthesizes existing research on a particular topic. Now that we have a brief background about journal articles in general and how important it is in the field of science communication or development communication, our study would like to talk more about the different challenges and trends related to the use of journal articles. Due to the advent of state-of-the-art information and communication technologies like computers, the internet, and social media, it is now easier to find various type of materials or literature. However, most people right now, especially the younger generations or majority of the millennials, are not that familiar with the process of using and finding scientific journal articles. Another fact that we should know about, some journals are published weekly, some are monthly, and there are some at other regular intervals. And again, with the emergence of the internet, there are certain publications that can easily post articles online. There is a number of websites or online databases where we can find different scientific journal articles right now. These include uh, PubMed, ScienceDirect, and Hypewire Press. PubMed is a repository of millions of references, mostly about life sciences. Science Direct, on the other hand, have journals that are focused on a wide range of materials like physical sciences and engineering, life sciences, health sciences, social sciences, and humanities. Highwire Press has free full-text scientific journal articles with access to around 900 journals. Students and researchers may also opt to use the traditional repositories that we have, this may include our physical libraries and knowledge or information centers. They can also contact the authors directly for the materials that they need. The power of the internet also now allows anyone to share or post their scientific or scholarly written studies or articles through websites like ResearchGate and Academia. Now that we have an idea on where we can find or even publish journal articles, let us talk more about some challenges. First is the open access movement, or for this specific topic, the open access to scientific journals. Access to journal articles are very limited right now, especially here in the Philippines. It is indeed a challenge for students and researchers to find relevant and credible literature studies that they can use for their own research. We have our libraries where we can find science books, theses, and journals. However, Due to the ever-changing environment that we live in, easy access to materials can be very helpful nowadays. Published journal articles online now are not enough. That also hinders the capability of journal articles to be a good medium in the dissemination of scientific information. But before we talk more about this specific matter, let's first define open access or open access publication. This type of publication allows a free or unlimited access of users with proper attribution to the authors. It is not only beneficial for, for people in information sharing or dissemination, but also for scientists and authors as a venue to collaborate. 
open access helps in speeding up the exchange of ideas and dissemination of scientific information. It can also encourage innovation, socioeconomic development, and flow of knowledge around the world. And most importantly, it can be an instrument in the continuous growth of sciences in the global scale while also having the chance to educate many people. Aside from the challenge with the open access, another problem concerning scientific journal articles is publisher perish. It emphasizes more on the quality of the articles being prepared or published. Due to problems such as limited attention and support for scientific publications and the pressure to produce more output in a short span of time and limited resources, there are scientists or authors who resort to publishing materials that go below the standards of usual scientific literature. It is indeed alarming as it affects the kind of information that are being shared with or disseminated to the scientific community and even end users of information like the students and the general public. Those are some of the problems with journal articles and its publication that affect how it can be utilized in the proper dissemination of scientific information. With that, we'd like to dig deeper into finding out how it can effectively and efficiently be used in the dissemination of information. First is the increase in the knowledge and practice of researchers, students, and other users in using scientific journal websites and databases. It is really important to educate everyone on how they can exhaust all the available resources that they can find and use. Next is the clear understanding of the open access process is also important for authors and researchers so that I would know how they can publish their articles and other scientific works under the appropriate license. Hi, my name is Karen. Taking off from Ralson's discussion, it is also equally important that end users of open access publications are aware of them and know how they can access such materials. Since open access and journal articles is very widely used, it is equally evident that there needs to be a strong law and policies that can support the need for free access to scientific articles. In the Philippines, there is only a small percentage of funding allotted for scientific research, publications, and related activities. This issue alone leads to the limited capability of our scientists and publication companies to publish many journal articles. There are some ways that we can help address this issue. First, we need to reform our procurement process to give some leeway for technology transfer. Filipino scientists and medical professionals are having a hard time gaining access to much-needed funds to buy necessary supplies or materials. This is because of the current procurement system under Republic Act 9184. While it is true that it has proven good to minimize or totally fight corruption, it has shown some adverse effects on the equally important matters such as sciences or medicine. Second, we should promote the science culture early on in our educational system. In the Philippines, it is rare to have a child answer, I want to be a scientist or a researcher. This can be attributed to the very limited emphasis on SNT education in our school systems. While it is true that we have the Philippine Science High School system, it is designed to cater only to the best and brightest students who pass rigorous entrance examinations. In the early years, however, of education, science in the Philippines remains mainly an academic requirement for most students. Number three, we need to have more funding devoted to research and development. Based on data from the World Bank in 2013, our country only spends 0.14% of our GDP on research and development. Number four, we should have a safe space for any scientist to conduct science in whatever field of science they may be, be it the applied or social sciences. And last, we should have a system that encourages more collaboration among the scientific community across the different institutions and field of studies in the country. It is important that our Filipino experts from different fields are able to work together in pursuit of coming up with world-class research results and scientific innovations towards not just contributing to our nation building, but also to the repository of global collective knowledge. This 
Given that every scientific journal articles are technical in nature, it is very vital to ensure that the end user of these information have a good understanding and prior knowledge of scientific and technical processes and facts so that they can use and apply these learnings appropriately. We now see that the role of journal articles in the dissemination of scientific information for scholarly communities is to serve as a venue for our scientists, researchers, and academicians to discuss their work. Peer review is one of the most important processes in publication. It is a chance for the experts to evaluate the presented study or materials and certify if they are within the standards or if they follow research norms. It also means they are able to measure the quality if they follow the proper methodology and framework. It is a way to ensure the quality of published articles and at the same time, an opportunity to contribute or exchange scientific ideas among the experts. The role of journals in scholarly communities may be summarized as follows. First, building a collective knowledge base. Writing and publishing journal articles play an important role in forming one's archive of knowledge. A journal is usually a collection of comprehensive, new and precise information in a specific field of study as it undergoes a strict peer review process. Second, communicating information. As a primary scientific literature, it is a tool that can be used by scholars to communicate research results among themselves. It contributes to the growth of the body of knowledge as a research result may be used as an inspiration or a point of reference for a new research. Third, it serves to validate the quality of research. Journals help maintain research standards on how scientific studies are conducted. Not every article that is submitted for publication gets published and disseminated. It is vital in maintaining the high quality of information shared within a specific community. Journals also serve as a reward system in scientific communities. In a field where new discoveries are made every day, the publication of research in a journal has become somewhat a measure of achievement. It not only helps establish intellectual property, but also means by which a scholar is evaluated. Aside from the number of journal articles published, the quality of the journal published in is also a measure of prestige or credibility in the scientific community. Lastly, journals help to build scientific communities. Journals are a way of bringing together ideas and innovations of individual scholars and giving them a common venue for exchange and interaction. They serve as a forum by which the scientific community is updated not just on activities but as on the careers of their peers as well. The establishment of a new scientific journal is generally considered as a hallmark for new emerging fields of studies, hereby creating another community by which scholars of common interests are able to share. In conclusion, the journal article serves many important functions in the dissemination of scientific information. It not only serves as a vehicle for the sharing of information, but also a measure for the sharing of credible and quality work due to the rigorous process by which articles are reviewed before its actual publication. Journals also serve as a common repository or archive for scientific information that is available to anyone. With the strides in information and communication technology, journals have slowly begun to innovate in the means by which they share their publication, like online access, hereby reaching a wider and broader audience, making them an effective tool in the dissemination of scientific information. It is vital that scientific journals continue to keep up with the pace of the times. With the continuing strides and developments in information and communication technology, scientific journals now have the means by which to reach a wider audience and keep themselves as a relevant player in information sharing and dissemination. The availability of numerous information sharing platforms, such as social networks and file sharing services, mobile access and mobile applications, and even text messaging services must be fully taken advantage of. Open access, or at the very least, a reduction in subscriptions and other costs for journal access should become a major consideration as well.